In this episode, I'm going to show you how to get the Money Flow Index indicator straight into your Expert Advisor. Check it out. There's a few things you need in order to complete this episode. First, having a working MetaTrader 5 terminal is super helpful for you to be able to see immediately the results of what you're doing. Secondly, I really recommend that you have a template expert advisor set up and ready to go. So that means you've got the init, dinit, and ontic functions set up. The money flow index is often called an RSI with a volume weighting on it. And it takes into account not just the price, which is what the RSI does, but also the volume that's happening. A lot of people use it and it's a pretty powerful indicator. So I thought it'd take some time to show you how to use it today. In the meantime though, we recently had a person who built a custom trading bot with my company and he loved what he got. So a big shout out to Frank for sending me back that feedback. I really appreciate it and I pass it on to my team as well. Anyway, let's go and build our money flow index indicator straight into our expert advisor. See you there. I've started by copying across a really simple set of functions that just allow us to be able to print the values of what we're getting to the screen. So you can see here, I've got our on init, our on dinit, and our on tick functions, which if you've been following along are the simple functions we need to make our expert advisors work. Let's put in our brand new indicator. So our money flow index indicator, whoops, do this one here. Okay, and this is going to be our money flow index indicator. This is gonna be returning for us a double, which is a value. And the reason we do that is because if we can return a value, that means we'll be able to use it in a future trading bot. So let's do that. The only value we'll be passing into this is our candle's previous integer. And the reason for that is that allows us to choose how many candles back we want to get this calculation for. As with all MetaTrader 5 indicators that are built in, we have to create a buffer. I don't know why. Every time I say it, I wonder. I actually don't know. Okay, then we're going to get our handle for the indicator. So what we've done here is we've created our buffer here. We've converted it into an array. And now we're going to go and start getting information for it. For our IMFI indicator, we're going to be passing in the follow. So we're going to do underscore symbol, which means the current symbol. We want to get our current time frame. So what this means is wherever you put it on your chart, it's going to be getting those values for you. The moving average period that we want, and we're going to define. So we're going to just define that as our MFI period, which will return to a minute, and then. What we want to get that on is our volume tick. So that looks at the number of ticks that we're getting in each period. We'll confirm that it's, it's given us a value. So if the MFI period is equal to an invalid handle, we return zero. If that's successful, then we want to copy the indicator data into the buffer. So we'll use our copy buffer function and we'll put an integer in front of it. So int MFI copy. Okay. Here's our thing, so copy buffer MFI handle, zero, zero, candles previous, plus one, MFI buffer. If the copy failed, return zero. And if it was successful, then we want to return that value there. Pretty cool so far and looks pretty simple. Now we're going to go define an input value for this MFI period, which is really, really easy. So we go up here, Put in our input parameters. Save that. Then down here, we want to print the value of whatever we're getting to the screen. Awesome. Let's compile it, make sure that it's all working. Okay. Go across to our MetaTrader 5. I'll get rid of this exponential moving average from the previous episode I was making. Okay, and here's our money flow index indicator. Check our inputs. And that's our MFI value getting printed to the screen. How good is that? In the next episode, I'm going to be going through a really, really common question that a lot of people ask, which is how do I detect when a new candle occurs on MetaTrader? I'll see you there.